What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Mop and it's Scott here with a bit of a discussion today. Today we're talking about where has mysticism gone. If you've played Oblivion or Morrowind or any of the games before you knew that mysticism was a school of magic and that in Daggerfall and Arena there were even more schools of magic but they've actually been condensed over time. Quite simply, the explanation to this is Bethesda wants to streamline their game so there's fewer schools and skills of magic so it's easier to be proficient in some instead of just getting one school just for soul trapping and dispelling or whatever. So they just nice and streamline them and that's fine but from a law perspective it's actually quite valid because you see these are just arbitrary classifications. The schools of magic are actually developed by the mages guild to make into little professions for certain mages so that they could focus in certain types of magic that are sort of linked and similar but over time like in real life, people change classifications and certain subjects or little schools of thought change areas and, and become parts of other learning. So, what we have in Skyrim, presumably after the Mages Guild collapsed, we've got the Synod Mages and the Mages, I forget the other one, the College of Whispers in Cyrodiil, and presumably they could have come up with the new classifications and sort of just got rid of mysticism or um, it could just be a college winner hold thing but maybe over time mysticism has just sort of it just maybe it was just too broad if you actually look back at mysticism it just sort of had random stuff it sort of was the school of magic that collected everything else some have connections to like all magical manipulation of magical energies and then there was also bits and pieces about it being magic like the old way but they tried to not confuse it with the religion apparently and sort of like the psychic order kind of magic the old ancient elnafe sort of way of magic it's all the old mystical stuff i guess it's the same sort of magic you experience in the college winterhold quest line when quarineer comes and teleports in and stops time and talks to you and stuff like that. I guess that all falls under mysticism. So the magic still exists. They didn't just retcon that out of the universe. It's just the classifications have changed in the schools of learning. Perhaps it's not as popular anymore. And you know, certain aspects have been um, changed to different schools. So you've got soul trap and conjuration. And you know, if you, they did this with other things too. If you look at uh, illusion, that used to have an oblivion paralyzed, but now paralyzed is an alteration thing. And that's not just like, oh physically in the universe it became an alteration spell it's just it became part of that school it's just another arbitrary de definition they just sort of moved the barriers around so in terms of thinking about magic it's a really good concept to just change your mind and way of thought about magic and don't worry about too much about the specific classifications at the end of the day the magic's just magic and the reason they put in the classifications is so you can have certain skills so you can balance your character and it's just not one magic skill but yeah like apparently i was doing a little bit of research into the elder scrolls lore and there's different opinions and stuff but before the mages guild introduction in the second era it was all just called magic from what I could I could be wrong so don't a hundred percent you know school me on this gently tell me in the comments if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure that before that there were no schools of magic and it was just all considered mysticism and magic like if you go look up what mysticism is it's just sort of mystical magic that's the, <laughs> the definition of it really so um, that's what all magic was to the people of the first era and eras beforehand. They didn't divide up into these schools. The schools was basically when magic became a actual academic institution and spread across Tamriel as the Mages Guild. So where they would institute ways of learning an actual school. Sort of like how, you know, philosophy. There was like the Stoics and their school of philosophy and other schools of philosophy. They're all just ways of thought, but... And before the schools were made, they were just separate ways of thought. But, you know, people just organized them into little arbitrary definitions and schools. Yeah, that's where mysticism went, basically. It's still there. And it's still in the universe. These magics didn't disappear from it. Because some people sort of ask, oh, where the fuck did it go? Or what's happening with it? It's just got rid of it via arbitrary definition. Like, they just changed the way they look at magic. Theoretically, you could do it with other skills as well, I guess. Like, it's the same as they got rid of, you know, Blade and blunt and they turned it into one-handed and two-handed and just condensed it again it's just streamlining on the gameplay side of things and from a lore perspective it's just the arbitrary definitions of whoever tells you whatever if you go to the college you win hold maybe there's only five schools of magic maybe you go somewhere else they still practice thaumaturgy like they did in 
uh, Daggerfall, and that's a legitimate school of magic, you know? So overall, the point of this video was to just put some information out there, sort of calm everyone's minds, because I've actually thought about it before. I'm like, oh, this is retarded. Why do they get rid of mysticism or the schools before it? And, and they shifted stuff around quite a bit. If you actually do look at the difference between Daggerfall and Morrowind and Morrowind and Oblivion, things have actually gone into skills and then out of schools and then back into this school. It just sort of goes all over. It's just an arbitrary definition. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next game they change something else around. They decide that, I don't know, maybe Banish is a fucking alteration spell. I don't know. That sounds silly. But you know what I'm getting at. I mean, theoretically, there could be alteration things where you're altering the universe and you pull up rocks as a defense or something, but then some people will argue that that's an elemental type of magic because you're manipulating the elements and then that should fall in destruction. You know, it's all over the place. Like, technically, a fire shield could be alteration. And it was alteration, actually, if you go back into the previous games, but now, like, well, it's not a shield, it's a cloak, like a fire cloak. But you know what I mean? It's all destruction elemental magic. Anyway, this is going on a little bit long. But, still, there you go. What did you think? Ask for more conversations like this, more little discussions, because guess what? I just like running my mouth about Elder Scrolls stuff. And I know most of you guys like a lot of running mouth about Elder Scrolls. So, if you're interested in more of this kind of discussion, let me know in the comments. Let us know what you'd like to see. Suggest us some ideas. I'm Scott from Fudge Muppet, and I will see you next time.